Hey, so Roseanne had record ratings right here on ABC. The 90s sitcom returned to TV Tuesday night tackling hot button issues in a very divided society. Roseanne Barr says that she actually got a call from the president yesterday to congratulate her on the show's success. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. If the ratings are any indication, the revival of Roseanne is a smash hit with more than 18 million viewers. You're ruining my life. You all suck. I ain't seen that movie in 20 years. <laughs> uh, classics really do hold up. Since the show's finale 21 years ago, Roseanne and the Connor family did not miss a beat. What's up, deplorable? Diving headfirst into the issues and conversations happening right now across America, from the rise in cost of health care. Funny story, our insurance don't cover what it used to, so I got half the drugs for twice the price. <laughs> to Roseanne's grandson, who likes dressing like a girl. You hear that, honey? My grandson's nails are wet. I like your nail polish, Grandpa. That's drywall, son. And at center to the stage... Violence. Every one of you wrapping yourselves up in the flag and clinging to your guns. Oh, that's such a stereotype. Oh. <laughs> where are you going? I just realized we got kids in the house and I can't remember where we hid our gun. <laughs> The political divides within families following the 2016 election. How could you have voted for him, Roseanne? He talked about jobs, Jackie. He said he'd shake things up. I mean, this might come as a complete shock to you, but we almost lost our house the way things are going. Have you looked at the news? Because now things are worse. Not on the real news. Oh, please! At its peak, the premiere garnering 15 tweets per second mostly positive. One viewer writing, this conversation was needed. It's not a left or a right thing. We the people agree to disagree. Lindsay Davis reporting. Roseanne is back next Tuesday at 7 o'clock.